All right, well, something we learned through playing Rita Rapid Kindergarten is that this game is way longer than I remember it being. If we want to clear the game and actually get to the end, we have to collect everything Your on list. this camp list. Which means we have to play all those five mini games like all five times on the different difficulties to grab it all. So it's really grindy. It's actually really difficult if you're in kindergarten to play. It's something only the true OG elite gamers will be able to do, which I consider myself to be one of. So I'm gonna try to do that. So this is gonna be a whole lot of grinding, I do believe. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. Also, if the audio is slightly staticky, I apologize. This is, I'm recording this well over a week after my other Reader Rabbit Kindergarten videos, and for some reason, even though I didn't change anything, all of a sudden the game started getting extremely staticky and ridiculously laggy. I had to fiddle with the virtual box settings for ages until I finally got it to be like this. It's still slightly staticky, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be, so. Basically, it was either do this, or we just wouldn't actually complete the game, and I didn't want that. So, hope you don't mind a tiny bit of static in your ears. Your lineup. Let's go back to diner lineup. We only spent a little bit of time here. And this was actually probably one of the better games. This again? On the grass is the perfect height. So click on that. That's it's right there. I already hey, solved that puzzle, I bro. the stairs. Now I can go inside. The crow was like, I know you fixed the stairs, but I broke them again. Oh. I'm like, I clicked on the... No, you have to click on the arrow on the stairs to go in the door. Bro. Oh, Matty, I'm so glad to see you again. Oh, never My mind. My kitchen is a mess. That was a really, really, really long, awkward silence. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was waiting for another cutscene to happen. I was just waiting. No, my mouse I'll cursor disappeared. Get his kitchen cleaned up. Then I'll get I thought it was just going to repeat the same cutscene again. No, there, now we just get to stand awkwardly and stare at each other. Are you going to help me clean up the kitchen? Maybe. Okay, let's go. Follow me. That did not match up at all. <laughs> so now the difficulty should get amped up a little bit. Attention! The bus just picked up the last two campers. Oh, the bus is low on gas. Looks like the bus is gonna have to stop at Bucky's in order to get some more gas. That'll be fun oh, for the campers. Oh, Matty, I'm so glad you've come back to help me. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From least liquid to most liquid. We don't care that some of them, we could just fill I'll some up even more, yeah, and that some of them have orange there. juice, and then some I'll of them have grape juice. The campfire party. There you go. Superb. So, maybe I'll just fast forward a lot of this. Oh. We can do it. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From fewest pieces of fruit to most pieces of fruit. I like this game. It focuses on food and uh, it teaches it teaches young kids to categorize Perfecto. stuff. It's great. And you've got that rock and banjo music in the background. Here you go. Corn on the cob. Yes. Mmm, my favorite. You're gonna need corn on the cob. You can't just eat hot dogs. Chef Pierre. <laughs> Chef Pierre, we got the most deliveries for you. Is Camp Happy Tales in France? From most liquid to least liquid. Pierre is clearly from France. Do they have raccoons in France? These are the questions, folks. Try again. What? That was no. That was right. Oh, oh, I, I got the order wrong. Okay, you kept saying lowest to highest, and now you, now you switch it up on me. Technically, I lined them up in the right order. It was just backwards. Okay, so that wasn't a problem of I couldn't categorize them. The problem was I wasn't reading. Oh well. Here's your order. There's your order, Pierre. Let's go. Please 
help me put all of these on the shelf. This is not trivial. Like, you actually From have to look closely. To tallest. I like it. Man, I, I, I do remember Reader Rabbit Kindergarten being kind of difficult. I've only gotten so the true terrible. ending once. Literally one time. <laughs> oh, yes. Tasty carrots. Carrots Reader are great. Will love these. Not really, so will the not really what I think of as camp food, though. Delivery! We can do it! Okay, is, is there literally just like a never ending stream of Amazon Prime trucks outside delivering us partially eaten food on plates and partially drank grape juice? And Pierre's like, guess we have to deal with it. Oh well. Because that's what it seems like to me. Sorry, Pierre, we ate most of the food that we delivered to you. Here's your order! Oui, oui, let's go! No, he put in a very specific order for four IKEA plates with specific pieces of fruit on them. From fewest pieces of fruit to most pieces of fruit. Pierre, are you gonna do anything? He's like, I could use your help. It's like, no, you're just using me as a as a indentured servant. I do all the work and you take all the credit. And and so is the gopher. The gopher's helping us Crispy, as well. Crispy, crunchy celery. Just Celery's for good. You. Not Thanks, what I think Pierre. of as a camp food though. Merci, merci. Merci. <laughs> Feather Airlines Flight 101, ready for departure. Well, too bad. We're gonna we're gonna continue doing this. Food for Chef Pierre. Food for oh, Chef Pierre. Boy. Oh, Here we this. Go. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. Okay. From most slices of orange to fewest slices of orange. Okay. So now it's slices of orange in particular, so you got- Okay, I like this! You gotta listen, and now we have to stack Let five things up. See, like I said, the, the difficulty amps up. Delivery! We can do it! Please help me put all of these Change it. Oh, the and shelf. changing the color of the liquid also kind of messes me up a little bit. liquid to least liquid. All right. This is, this is pretty good. I, I really dig this game. I think this is a great game for, like, the kindergarten crowd. And also me. Because I have a problem. <gasps> yes! Oui, oui, Mati! You found my banjo! Now I can sing my song for you and all the campers at the celebration tonight! Woo! Oh, merci! Ah, Jiminy! Matt found one of the things I hid! Oh, my little Matty! I'm so glad you've come back to help me! Please help me put all of these on the shelf! From most liquid to least liquid. So much just happened there. We gotta talk about that. So, we saved Chef Pierre's banjo, which we heard was missing. Uh, so the gopher had it all the time, and then he's just like, Well, maybe if you help Chef Pierre out enough, maybe I'll give it back. So I guess the gopher's in cahoots with Spike. Spike is, like, suspicious that his gopher is going to betray him, and he's just, like, hanging out in a tree spying on us through with his binoculars and his, like, drone that's just, like, spying on us constantly. And he's like, No, oh, man, they got the stuff back. Also, apparently Spike got his Take own, like, I, villain song, but, like, where he's like, I just misunderstood. It's like, bruh, okay, I get it that it's rough if people don't hug you because you've got quills, but that's not their problem, and also you threw trash in the lake. So, like, doesn't really explain or justify your actions. Chef Pierre! Oh, Chef Pierre! Oh, no, we spilled the orange juice on the banjo! I don't know about you guys, but when I think of authentic French music, I definitely think of the banjo. 100%. It's like, I, we're going to Paris. For my friend Matty, I have some apples. Two apples for the, hey, all, the whole camp? Thanks. That'll be a good we have an snack. entire busload of campers coming. Delivery. And their beaver nuggets we are only going to last for so long. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From least liquid to most liquid. The liquid ones aren't too bad. It's when you've got all the different pieces of fruit and you kind of... That's where you kind of mess me up a little bit. But this is still pretty easy. Perfecto. It should be. Because this is made for like four or five-year-olds and I am... 
Oui, oui. Literally Let's five go. times as old as that. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From shortest to tallest. So maybe Pierre is just constantly... Again, there's no animation here. We just have to take it at the game's word that there are guys coming in to deliver stuff, but we never actually see them. Superb! Maybe, maybe Chef, they just didn't animate it, but Chef Pierre is also, like, helping them carry stuff in. This time, I have some juicy oranges for you. Again, free Great. oranges for the entire camp. Food for Chef Pierre! <laughs> we drank some of it on the way in! <laughs> Please help me put all of these on the shelf. Seriously, though, the, the camp tunes were really catchy. They were all, they were all actually, like, extremely catchy. Ah, oh, no, no, ha ha, you almost caught me out there. Nope. Not happening. The yeah, the fact that they changed the color of the liquid and changed the height of the glass, but maybe not the liquid, it makes you think. help me put all of these on the shelf. Like, some of these bottles I really have to squint to actually see. Okay, well. Obviously, that's the tallest. Obviously, that's the second tallest. I think then we got the shortest... Next shortest. There we go. Newman's own is right in the middle. Yeah, bananas. I'll give my banana to somebody else. Some bananas. Thanks. That's very appealing. Ah. Uh. <laughs> appealing. I get it. <laughs> that is very funny. Yes. <laughs> Extremely funny. Feather Airlines Flight 101, ready for departure. No. No. Delivery. Will you play me a banjo we song? Can do it. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From fewest slices of apple to most slices of apple. I love how it's like we got you some apples, Pierre, and then like they have literally plates with like a whole bunch of apples on them. It's like, Perfect. yeah, I didn't really need the two apples when we already had apples on the plate. Here's your order. Wee oui, wee, oui. let's go! <laughs> Maybe this is just one guy. This, on there the must ship. be just the biggest truck right From outside the camp, just like, we've loaded orange. the truck up with Two individual plates of orange! orange. <laughs> we hope you appreciate it, Chef Pierre, just as you requested. I d he does. He very much does. Superb! This is definitely the most interesting of the mini games, too. Yes, marshmallows. Here is a beautiful, fluffy marshmallow to toast over the campfire for us some more. Super. I love how this game was personalized just for me Delivery. and how bad I was at we all of the, at the driving test. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From least liquid to most liquid. I wish he didn't have to say that every single time. It really does drag on the uh, minigame. But I'm just an impatient old man at this point. <laughs> is Spike still just staring at us from the window? Let's go. Please help me put Also, why is Spike here at the camp way earlier than the like he beat the entire bustle of kids? Spike's not an adult, he's a kid. So he apparently just does he live at camp? Is he a problem child and his parents just dropped him off because they're like, we don't want to deal with you. Here. Superb. Also, the kid, the bus refuses to pick you up because last year you popped all the tires out of spite. Something. No, they thought no one hugs me. Oh, Stop yummy! Spike. I can't wait to make my s'more. Delivery. We can do it. The best s'mores Please are made with Reese's put peanut butter all cups. Of these on the shelf. From most strawberries. Two fewest strawberries. What are you doing with all of these plates once you've, like, got them all? Do you just, like, shove them Perfecto. in a corner somewhere? Or are you like, all right, most strawberries, that goes to Pierre, Is obviously. Least goes to Spike, oui, because oui. he stinks. Let's go. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From least liquid to most liquid. All right, Peter. The best part of this game is getting to uh, imitate the French delivery man, constantly Superb. putting in more individually wrapped food. Graham crackers, yes. Congratulations! Here are your graham crackers. Now you should have all the food you need for the campfire party. Woohoo! All right, I'll have a full tummy tonight. 
thank you. No, no, thank you. So again, is was it Spike, the gopher, or Pierre that was hoarding all the food? Because it seemed like Spike and the gopher were hoarding the banjo. But then the rest of it, it's like Pierre's like, I'll give you the food if you help me out. But if you don't help me out, there will be no food. It's, it's a little weird. But there we go. So now if we take Feather Airlines back, we should be able to look at our list and we should have all of the food, which is the most important part, Thanks obviously. Thanks for the ride. Anytime. Let's take hey, a look. Your list. So there, there you go. Diner lineup, 13 out of 13 items, so we don't have to do that anymore. And here's another strange fact. Spiders don't taste with their mouths. They taste with their feet. That's right, with their feet. I'm sure glad we don't do that, because I do not want to know what my socks taste like. No way! <laughs> Lenny, you don't have feet or socks. I don't know what you're talking about. Come with me to the library. It seems such a quiet place. But listen, listen. Tigers roar in the animal books in jungles near and far. Spaceships fly in science fiction off to the nearest star. In sports, big crowds will cheer and bells ring over here. In history, great people speak. In mystery, the doors will creak. All the sounds of the world are here on every library wall. And when you learn to read, you can hear them all. 